A pleasant day to all. It's me again I am your Mac and Soft Daddy DIY. Do you miss me? Do you miss your daddy? Well I am here now for you, baby. In this video I will show you how to use a cloning software for your hard drives. Upgrade to a faster SSD. And without further ado, let's start now. Macrium Reflect 8. Free edition. Clone. Copy hard disk. SSD. Reflect 8. Macrium is known for creating reliable and scalable software that exceeds personal and business needs. But we don't rest on reputation. Reflect 8 was created with you and the future in mind. What's new? Instant virtualization for everyone. Oracle VirtualBox provides an alternative to Microsoft Hyper-V for instant image virtualization. Automatic partition resizing. Ideal for when target disks are a different size to the original source. Removable flash media and XFAT support. Backup SD cards and flash memory sticks. Improved UI. High DPI and dark mode support. Plus new restore and file and folder backup interface. Windows Ref support. Increased data availability. Improved scalability. All while maintaining data integrity. Against corruption. Intra-daily backups. Schedule high frequency backups. To protect rapidly changing data. How to clone your hard drive. Before you begin with Macrium Reflect, ensure the drive you're going to clone to is connected to your PC. It's also good practice to clean up any files on your system, especially if you're moving to a smaller drive, comma you can't have more data than the new drive can hold. First go to Disk Manager, to Format Drive, and SSD. Delete volume to format, then make the space to an allocated volume. Launch Macrium Reflect from your start menu, desktop or taskbar. Click the disk you want to clone. In this case, I'm choosing my C drive because it is the drive I'm swapping out. A blue rectangle will appear when the disk is selected. Click clone this disk. Click selected. Click the destination disk to which you want to write a clone. Comma this can be an external hard drive or an internal drive connected by an enclosure. Remember, this process will erase any data stored on the destination drive. Click and drag the partitions from the disk you want to clone. Ensure they are in the same order on the external destination drive as they are on the original drive. You may now need to change partition sizes, so that they fit a smaller or larger hard drive. In my case, I'm cloning to a drive the same size as the old one, so I don't need to change anything. If you're moving to a smaller or larger drive, follow these instructions to resize partitions, before proceeding with the next steps. Click next, when all partitions have been dragged over, to the destination drive. Click next, to see a summary of what you're about to clone. This is a good time to ensure the drive letters are all correct. Click finish. Backup save options. What do you want to do now? You can leave this as default. Blue checks are run this backup now. Checked. Save backup definition. Enables you to quickly re in this configuration check. You can enter a name for this backup definition. If you're all good here, then click the button OK. And there it goes. Baby. Copying is now. Processing. 
Let's just wait when this process is finish. Macrium Reflectate is now available. We know users have been eager to get their hands on it, so we're incredibly excited to finally be able to share it with you. It has taken time, care and energy, but we think that what we've built reinforces everything. What people love most about Macrium Reflect, its reliability, to make it easier to use, more adaptable to changing needs and use cases, and future-proofed for the evolution of the hardware market. New features in Macrium Reflect 8, Automatic Partition Resizing. Partition resizing can be a tricky and irritating task to perform. When trying to move a backup image from one place to another, intra-daily backups, dark mode, and other UI improvements, virtual box support for vboot, xfat support, ref support, Macrium Reflect, clone completed, in 36 minutes and 43 seconds, now click button OK, then click close, from the right bottom side. Analyzing disk partitions. And now, close all, open folders, or applications folder. After the cloning process, we are now ready for the next procedure on how to restore your clone HD on a new SSD. I have a separate video on that. IT was in my previous upload. Please do check that video also. I will just put the link of that video down the description box below. I do appreciate taking you our time here with ME. If you have come up to this far of this video, what can I say? Thank you. God bless. You can check on your PC folder, your C drive the one that you are using, and your D drive the cloned one. You've successfully copied its OS. Once again, I am your Mac and soft daddy, DIY, Sin, Woos, your daddy, peace, and ADDIOS, adios.